Why is it always some old black and white boy yeah. telling us young fellas that we ain't relevant? In the world that embellishes like a relative content from these elements. You call them stars, I call them settlements. Cause Woo. they didn't settle for settlements, built on a steady sediment. Ashes from the already crashed and burned dust from past residents. So I can feel it in my bones, I'm feeling in the zone. More when I'm on the way, but the same when I'm feeling the home. So I'm comfortable, I know you are too. Me and Powers are one d 2 Star Wars, Harvest Moon, Feast Food. But please don't come peaceful, but kill that noise if it's at all equal. I tell you what, man, let's make it equal. So I can show you the math, but I don't do sequels. Instead, I'm going to use physics to determine how we move. Use ethics to perspective our objective. Because our efforts to fulfill our destinies, the universe is expected. So we got to fight back, take the night back, take our lives back. Our efforts must be twice that of our enemy. Yo, yo. Go ahead, come on. How y'all do? It's your show. <laughs> um, no. Um, welcome to the Squadcast podcast cast episode. We don't even know how many we got. We keep track here and there. And we'll was, let y'all know. I, I maybe think the, the last one was like 54, 55. But like I told Chef in unofficially, we got way more than that. So it's the numbers is going to keep climbing. Yeah. Except just go watch them all. Most Maybe definitely. you'll know. Most definitely. You can help us out and comment. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to Jumpyard Game. Like, share, comment. I read the comments. Godmother read the comments. She be in the comments <laughs> heavy. I appreciate that because you be keeping rolling. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Between you and Sheffin and yeah. a couple of uh, our, our loyal, dedicated Support, subscribers, supporters. supporters. Thank you. Y'all, y'all keep it going for us, and I appreciate that. Most definitely. How's your day going so far? I know we kind of talked. You got to work a couple hours. I got to work a couple hours today. I ain't too frustrated because it's $15. There we go. Get the bad. Add a little bit more, you know. Get the bad. But, um, yeah, I'm good. I woke up, so I'm blessed. Um, I sent a screenshot. I got my, my Pfizer vaccine shot. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was waiting for you to bring it up. My so arm was on sore still. But that's about it, right? Uh, yeah. So no fever, feeling good, no coughing. But I was thinking that maybe when I didn't want to go to work, I'd be like, "Look, I got the shot, and I don't feel, I don't feel too good." Now, do your job allow you time off work to go get your shot? Like so, United uh, Unify is the company that I work for with United, and they actually set us up appointments to okay. get one for free. There we go. Well, yeah. 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 So you didn't have to call like IV like I did and no. go to Chef. I was supposed to call and make an appointment, but I was already there. So they was like, just go up there. They might see okay. you. So they ended up calling me back. I gave them my information. So shout out United for uh, United in the airport. Got a little boop. quick and easy. Got the Pfizer. So you got two more to get, apparently. Did you have a choice? Could y'all get Moderna if y'all? I asked her which one because I, I was for certain I didn't want to do this particular one. Right. He said Pfizer, which I know you took. And no, I took the Moderna. No, Moderna. Okay. Chef and took the Pfizer. Pfizer. You guys got two more shots to go. Okay. So, I mean, whatever's clever, as long as the last one ain't the one that takes No, out. Johnson & Johnson is off the shelf for right now. Okay. But I have seen them talking about actually bringing it back just because um uh, even though six to seven people out of seven million were affected, that's that's like a low number, yes. you know. And but still, yeah. Early. But they they're gonna bring it back because it's uh the most. I I, I know as far as the trials, they had the lowest percentage, like in the seventies or eighties or something like that, effective rate. But it's also a one shotter, so. Mm, I wish. You know, but we'll we'll, we'll see. You know, more information back. that come on. You know, twenty one days. <laughs> May 3rd is coming up. I get my last shot. Shout out Moderna and all my hot on my Moderna users yeah. out there. Yeah. Ain't there something else coming up in May? Oh yeah, I got a battle. Uh, you know, Ish Mula. Shout out We Go Hard, Titty, Steemo, everybody out there in um, the East Coast, New York, Brooklyn. I see y'all. Uh yeah, it's going down, man. It's July, like uh, I don't, live. I don't, like, nah, anybody no, can no, go live no, and watch it. No pay-per-view. Uh it's an actual event where you gotta buy the ticket to go. Mm-hmm. Shout out Manslaughter Battle League, my man Smurf. Shout out uh, to the Battle Rappers. Wolf and Fish, uh, the whole Manslaughter family. You know, we're doing things over there. Uh, got big things coming. I appreciate that, brother, working hard for me, too. Uh, shout out to all the parents that's got kids graduating in May as well. Uh, yes. Graduating high school or your fifth grader uh, being promoted. Now,
and I'm going to middle school, you know, so I got a combination of both of them in my hands, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, whew, trying to plan these parties is ridiculous. I ain't gonna lie. Not even a party is ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. But uh, other than that, I'm glad everything's going good. How are you? I'm doing good. Like I said, uh, just planning these graduation little shindigs, writing these bars. Shout out got to it. the dads out there. For real. Shout out uh URL too. URLTV.tv. They got an event, Ultimate Madness 3 on caffeine. Starts at 2 o'clock. Uh, it's a tournament. Winner gets 100000 Real big. Today? Uh, so, yeah, today. What's that? 2 o'clock. Oh, we so, have to close up. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. We, we will be done before that. <laughs> nothing, nothing, to do with, nothing to do with the family and nothing okay. like that. This is strictly capo for the capo. Uh, I think the... the Spring or fall, isn't there like a vendor show today? Yeah, as a matter of fact, there is a, a, a I think a vendor show today. Shout out to uh Star. When I got my CMOS this morning, she kind of told mentioned something about it. So yeah. uh I don't know where it is or nothing, but I feel kind of bad about that. Crowder? I don't want to get on the phone. Yeah, I think. Yeah. yeah. Daddy was talking don't about it. Don't quote us on that, but I if y'all do know. Sometimes, but, you know, you I know, just be smoking sometimes and I just yeah. be sharing because it's all about the support. Y'all know that. So. Facts. Speaking of support, do we, 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 we kind of feel a little supported, a little vindicated here because uh, mm-hmm. in some people's eyes, justice was served in the Brother George Floyd case. Mm-hmm. Uh, Officer Dickhead Chauvin was found guilty on all charges. I would say justice was served for George Floyd. Yeah. And obviously we know that the family got a settlement of so over 20 something million. We're not counting any pockets, but no. uh, you know, that's not that's not the equivalent of what happened for the George Black uh, back with us. Right. Uh, you know, his daughter is missing a father, uh, and so on and so on. So but we got one. One. We got one. Hopefully, some more you know, coming. Because the same thing happened to Philando Castile in Minneapolis, mm-hmm. where the cop shot him in the car with the girlfriend and the kid in the back seat, and that cop didn't get charged. Okay. Yes. Um, and there's so many others where they were not charged. Wasn't they on the same day of the verdict? Uh, actually, the, it was not the verdict, but it was during the trial. Um, they shot the kid. Uh, I forget his first name. I know his last name is Wright. He's 20 years old, had a kid, pulled over. No, 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 that's that's, okay, that's, somebody, that's somebody else. else. See, and the, the, the fact that we're having to go through the names is sad. It's sad. <laughs> but uh, in Brooklyn Center, Minnesota, uh, a veteran police woman pulled this guy over for having expired paper tags and having something hanging on the rearview mirror. Um, he got pulled out of the car, handcuffed, but apparently he had a warrant, and they were going to arrest him. Uh, body cam footage and other footage surveillance shows that as he was being handcuffed, he actually tried to break away, get in his car. Police officer pulls a firearm out, discharges it, shoots him. You can hear the kid say, oh man, they shot me, he shot me. And he drives off later, not getting too far, but crashes and whatever. Uh, and they're trying to say that she mistaked her gun for a taser uh, when everything from every uh, policing aficionado that I know, their firearm was always on the right, their taser was on the left. If you reach her the right, never reach on the left hand side. So we'll see how that comes out as that goes in the trial. She has been charged and she has actually, uh, she's in jail right now, actually. Uh, they came in. And Is she the one that resigned? She tried to, yeah. and the mayor didn't accept it. Good call out. I like that. I'm glad like, you brought that up. Why would you even resign? Like, like it was going to drop everything. Yeah, just because you resign don't now mean you, don't you go, go, go keep the shit from the blind. You know what I'm saying? We ain't, we ain't stupid out here. You know what I'm saying? So. Well, I hope it opened up a door to get everybody justice that hasn't and that is to come because. Well, we had the same thing happen in North Carolina where the police gunned down a brother. Uh, we had a situation in Ohio 
where the police shot a 16 year old girl and killed her. Uh, obviously, those that circumstance was a little different because there was an altercation and so on amongst her her and other people. She had a knife about to wield it at the person. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that's touchy. I'm not even going to get into that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, do I think there could have been another way you probably could have handled that? Uh, most definitely. But uh, the facts and all the... As the a more, taser you know, right? Yeah, really, exactly. You know, where was your taser right on that one, buddy? You I know, seen really? a, someone comment and say that, I don't like, being that her size is the size that she is, that, that she probably would have been able to take the taser. It don't matter. She's sixteen. She's but, a minor. I mean, you could have shot the ankle. I mean, something. I mean, as many times as you shot. Granted, she had a deadly weapon, and was she going to inflict harm on that person that she was uh, having an altercation with? We don't know because all we see is the arm go up with the knife, and then the police officer shot her. Um, I feel like a taser could have been used. I feel I mean, like so try. Um, obviously, from the footage. She don't see the cop behind her. Maybe he could have came in, wrestled her, you know, away. I mean, hey, that's the that's the that's the that's the, that's the, the choice. That's, the, that's just the decision she make. That's that the line of duty. She's somebody trying to help her to where she just swing it and then. Well, yeah, but then that's what they're they're trained for. You know, supposed to be trained. Supposed to be trained for shit like that. But I did see something. I don't know how true it is or what, but there was some footage that they caught that she she was shooting a gun. Oh, see, I don't know about that. Because there was an altercation that had happened, but I guess she was the one that called the police, but she was really bad, tough, tough, rough and stuff, but like I said, I don't know what happened. Yeah, and then, so. you know, it continues. You got the uh, Chicago PD gunned down the little kid, little, I think it was like 13, 14 old uh, Hispanic, Latin American kid, uh, Latin, uh, Toledo, I forget it. I don't know if that's the first name or last name, but uh, you know when that happened, uh, there was a reported shots fired call. Uh, video surveillance does show uh, the kid and another individual firing shots at a car coming down the, the, the block, which initiated the uh, shots fired call. Police arrive. Uh, the kid is running. He has the gun. Uh, cop tells him to stop, drop the gun, turn around. Uh, camera surveillance from other angles show the kid does drop the gun, turns around. The cop fires one shot, kills him, and he got somebody else gone. Uh, you know, it's sad for the black and brown community. Um, you know, and, and the one thing that kind of pissed me off is the fact that they had the uh, president of the police and you know whoever the fuck this dude is in Chicago come on CNN to obviously to clean it up and justify what had happened and uh the first thing they do is start to paint the kid as uh this this juvenile delinquent well what they don't know is he this is him saying this to uh whoever the ESP the CNN correspondent right. was at the time I was watching it uh, what they don't know is, is oh, as a matter of fact, it was Chris Cuomo. Shout out Chris Cuomo. Mm-hmm. I, I like you, you and your brother, the governor, even though he in some trouble, I rock with y'all. Um, he was talking to Chris Cuomo, like, oh, what they don't know is that this kid was a member of the Latin Kings and he just got a fresh Latin King tattoo on his arm. I and... don't see how that justifies someone having to lose their life. So, you, why, why are you painting that picture about a kid? That, that just died. Get his life turned around. You shouldn't even be able to speak about him because you have no, he's a minor. Why does it always have to be something negative about a black individual black or before brown. we get justification on why we were killed? Because if it was the other way around, there's no questions asked. You did it. You're right there. You're on film. You can't get no lawyer. There's, you, you won't take a plea deal. Go to trial. Lose your life. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Like, there's no letting up on us. But no. when it comes to the other side, it's like they get every opportunity to be proven they didn't do it. Or exactly. why this person was should have been taken off the yep. street. I, I guess. like how she did the air quotes, too. I mean, it, it, it don't make no sense. It was just like the George Floyd trial. Um, how they were trying to paint him as this drug user, drug abuser, drug addict. And uh, it was that and his pre existing health conditions that caused him to die. Like, get the fuck out of here. Anybody's case, that's what they do. That's 
the prosecution, so I'm gonna anyway, they gonna dig into your your history books and get everything they can to make yeah. you, you look like the worst. But they only do that to us. You could have been three us. months and and shit it on your parents, and they gonna use it against you. Yeah. Since she was born, she was bad shitting on shit. Like, I'm not what, what do we say? Hey, subscribe to the channel. Uh, like, share, comment. You're only gonna get this good information, this good dialogue from us. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all gas, uh, all, all laughs, no breaks. Hit the junkyard game. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Shout out to uh, shout out to Go Hard Nation. Uh, I would definitely appreciate the merchandise. You know what I'm saying? That's the Chicago Connect. I appreciate my little brother Jared for getting me plugged with them. They got a lot of good merch. Uh, Go Hard Nation on IG. Look them up. Good deal. Shout out to Target. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out God Mama, she got her apparel, mad shirts, she got squad hats, mad shirts, all that good stuff, yeah. more, more to come. Uh, with that being said, I mean, the, the, to get on a lighter note, it is Drake Relays weekend here. Drake Relays. Or as some people call it, the fake relays, you know, <laughs> the dead relays. The dead you know lays. The dead lays. Uh, it didn't always used to be that way. It used to be. I don't know if it's because we were younger, things were, you know, everybody got along a whole lot more. Um, it wasn't too much of a big issue, but stuff used to be like, man, I Bracken. can't wait right. till they agree. I can't like, wait. Food on all down the all whole the street, hood. like all from the hood. top to bottom. From Drake to kids who playing knows. at the park. Everybody walking around a block, basketball tournament, car show, all that. Uh, you know, uh, concerts like you know rappers were coming in here, parties, Valerie, Seven Flags used to be hella lit. The food, car shows. once again, food. You had out of towners come here, enjoy themselves. They did used to come here and try to crush us though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They started to bring their whips. That was, that. but that's when it was like. Not saying it was okay, but like you coming over here acting a fool, like you need to go on about your business. <laughs> God must have sad, you know what I'm saying? Get those back to your parts. Yeah. But then y'all switch it up upon each other. Dumb and stupid. But I mean, it, it's sad to see how what we much it diminished. From. You know, like, I mean, I even used to go up to Drake and we used to watch the races. You know what I'm saying? Like, when we used to get the big name people used to come here and run an event and all that. And shit, I remember, let me see. My first Drake relays, I was in high school. I think I was like me. I think I was like sixteen. Me and my cousin snuck into the party at the Armstead they used to have after the uh, step show. Oh, oh Drake, we was litty, litty. So we was experiencing shit like this at an early age. You know I remember that? my mom used to work for Drake University, so she would be working in there. So she would call and be like, "Come to this door, blah blah blah," yeah. and, and we get in the track races and stuff. So I it was cool, but I wasn't I'm not a big sports fan. I don't like to sit there and watch some stuff that I really don't care too much about or yeah. pay attention to. But I but I feel like it's 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 still a better experience when you are present versus right. watching it on TV because I'm not a watcher. Because then you get the you get the get the full experience yeah. of what it's like actually being there. And then, you know, that's also just like one of the many festivities during the Drake relays. Like you said, we got the they got the step show. The after party of the step show that used to be on Drake campus, all the parties, food mm -hmm. vendors everywhere. I know uh, Big Rob and Platinum Cuts used to shut the block down and, and, and do a uh, little. Platinum event. Cuts has been cooking here lately these past couple days. Oh yeah, because Big Rob doing his thing. Yeah. yeah, Big Rob was doing his thing. Shout out Big Rob. He was the only one that used to come right here um, when I had him. Was it Twins Kitchen, Kader and Kadeem? They got their little uh, food business going, and they got it. You can pre-order food okay. on a link that I had shared, and oh my goodness! And it's a reasonable price to where you probably would buy the whole menu. Drake Relay is the only time where you would get super taxed and it'd be okay with it. Like you'd be okay with it, like all right, man, mm -hmm. just because you know at that point it was gonna be live. Now I can't speak for now, you know what I'm saying? Because you know with the pandemic coming in, and you know it's kind of been dying over the last mm -hmm. five years. Not really many, uh, many out of towns coming in, lesser events. Losing people. Losing people because we don't Crazy necessarily how to act, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. But I know they had the sneaker ball last night. I heard that was pretty cool. Uh, I, I, didn't, I don't go out for I the stay show. Home. Stay home. Stay uh, home. They got the blue carpet event tonight. Mm -hmm. um, 
I'm not sure you know where that's at. Broccoli the flyer jumping um, around. The Ramada Inn on the south side by the airport. There you go. Now I'm gonna get the plug. She you already know. And then shout I, out to Ralph. Uh, and there's something. There's something else. Like a couple of different Inc. events going on on Saturday. Uh, well, today rather. And then I don't necessarily know what's going on on Sunday. Because usually Sunday would be the car show day the back in the day. Exactly. You know, but you know that's not. And, and people. I don't know if I seen it right, but. I think there might be an event that some bikers are trying to put together. So oh, yeah. Shout out to our, ba- our biker uh, club that, that we got today, here. But there's yeah. some people trying to do some stuff for kids and paint faces and stuff oh, like okay. that. So, That's dope. Yeah. That's dope. Shout out to everybody doing some part in the community. That's dope. You know what yeah. I'm saying? We need more more shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Everywhere. Real yeah. shit. Old time. But are we sticking with the name of fake relays, the dead relays, and that's what it is? Y'all is it, is it is gonna get better as time goes along? Bring it back. I don't know. Hopefully, I could do it some justice because I got a trick up my sleeve. Yeah, we talked about that, and I, I can't wait to see what that's gonna turn into and blossom into. And I think that uh, with your business savvy and your uh, work ethic, I think that's gonna be a beautiful thing. Uh, your zero tolerance for bullshit, you know, is definitely not gonna fly. So. Uh, as I'm dropping these tidbits and hints, you guys can kind of pick up on what I'm talking about here. She got something special coming for us. You know, y'all just stay tuned with that. Keep being in your prayers and pray. And Most and definitely. Manifest. Speak it into existence. Hey, my daughter asked me what does manifest mean, right? Mm-hmm. And I said, it's when you, you, you speak your dreams and make your dreams a reality. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like. Where the hell did you hear that from anyway? She was always on TikTok and all that. So I'm pretty sure that's where she heard it from. And, you know, she, yeah, that's all real now. Everybody trying to get into their little spiritual side. Manifestation yes. thing. You know, ain't nothing wrong with that. No. I think, no. uh, what's her name? B. Simone is one of the main pioneers of that whole manifestation movement, you know, as far as on the uh, woman's side and all that. So uh, shout out her. Mm-hmm. Wild and Out's back. <laughs> You know, shout out Nick Cannon getting the show back. You know what I'm saying? If y'all don't know, they know they was losing some money. Oh yeah, MCB Viacom, y'all was losing the mm-hmm. digits because they, y'all know who was bread and y'all butter. You know? Tied mm-hmm. the uh, what Rob? Uh, what's the uh, ridiculousness and Rob Beard there. Hey, shout out Rob and Big. I used to watch that show yes, back in the I day. Remember, but, but yes, ridiculousness you know, is ridiculous yeah, now. Yeah. Like y'all need to. It's the only thing on there. I think they 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 run the network. I mean, outside of the reality shows, they try to bring the real world and roll rules, the little challenges back, and you know, bets versus and all that. I, I don't get into that. Show, a lot of people that was in tune to that are still right. down. Like super old, you know, they probably got grandkids low key. But it was, you know, when we were innocent and we, you know, we didn't know what to believe and we thought reality stuff was actually real. Yeah, that shit was all scripted. You know we didn't saying? know. We, yeah. Now we know. We know. Like, nah, this ain't scripted. I don't know if I can get into this. Y'all scripted. Yeah, reality shows don't need to be scripted. They might nah. just make a movie and or record everything and set it all out at once or something. Yeah. Facts. Facts. Yes, no. <laughs> all right. Well, other than that, um, I ain't really got much going on outside of uh, what we talked about earlier. Um, I know you got things coming up. There's vendor shows coming up. Um, hit us up, hit me up, Godmother up, at DJ Capo, at the Godmother, whatever you see us on, Snapchat, IG, Facebook, get the Squadcast merch, we got shirts, we got masks, uh, actually I'm thinking about getting some socks done, Squadcast socks, okay. you know what I'm saying, I got a little design I'm trying to sketch up and, and see what I can do with that, be looking out for that, All right. um, any, any closing remarks, Godmother? No. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and end this one early. Shout out, out that good alkaline water and that crypto, Recipe crypto there. bucks. Um, oh. Shout out to Amisa Jordan. Oh, Queen of dips. dips. Make sure y'all order y'all dips Most and get those. All ground up kicks drop the new uh, oh, line. Yes, ground up ground kicks. Ground up kicks drop the sure. new merch. Uh, fire. K's uh, Beauty Journey. Um, there's so many. I Shout out to the Boss. Go get your locks done. Go get the, the booty. Fall, spring. Uh, K Cuties is doing it. Oh, okay. So, K Cuties be out some good I shit. I think it's at the Valier. K Cuties be out some good so, shit. So, yeah. Shout like out to K Cuties for the free vendor show. So, if y'all was trying to go set up shop, 
I'm gonna not shut up shop. You probably gotta pay for the shop. But well, yeah. You can yeah. get in it's for free for the free so you public. can shop. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Shout out to everybody trying to do something in the world for Facts. us here, especially in our city. Facts. Um, um, hope everything gets better. My one last shout out, shout out Star one more time for the sea moss. I appreciate the the juice, the smoothies, the gel. Uh, it, it's definitely here, getting here, me right, some, you know what I'm saying? Some of it. It's definitely getting me right, you know what I'm saying? I kind of posted some of the results on Snapchat, you know what I'm saying? And go follow Star on Snapchat and IG. She'll show you, you know what I'm saying, and different people's journeys and whatnot. Uh, definitely been helping me out, and uh, I'm going to keep keep rocking with it. So what does it help with? Uh, it's, you can use it for a lot of different things. Uh, some people use it uh, on their face to gel, clear up their face, skin, or whatever. Uh, or you can honestly eat it, tablespoons at a time, put it in oatmeal or smoothies or whatever. Um, it has like 92, 93 uh, nutrients that the body needs every day. That's natural, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it gives us, it just replenishes that. You know, it also gets the toxins out of your body. Uh, it definitely is something that can be used to help lose and shred weight as well. Get you toned up and all that. Outside the game. Well, I'm just saying, it just it, it helps the body out overall tenfold. Like seriously, and it's not necessarily something that's new. Um, it's actually been something that's been in the community for years. But obviously, you know, when when you don't have access to it for where we live, okay. you know, uh, it's hard to come by that. But I'm glad that I'm able to know somebody that's doing it. Is making a good quality Shout out product. To Scott. Uh, she will deliver it to you, or you can pull up on her. She'll have it for you, real professional. She got her own logo, sticker on the bottle, caps, and all that stuff. You know I'm what not saying? sure if it came from her or not, but I think uh, my fiance had uh, got some, but we never got a chance to get around to use it. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, once you get it, you got two weeks to use it, yeah. and then it'll, it'll go mad on you. So it's not something that you can just hold on. You definitely want to make sure you get it in. Uh, for me, I got juices and smoothies, so I probably drink half of my juice in the morning. Can you put it on the body? The gel, yeah. Oh, the gel. But yeah. I'm saying like the body. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the gel, yeah. Okay, okay. So you can do a lot of different, it just depends on what kind of sea moss product you got. Okay. You know, so if you got the gel, you can eat it, put it on, you know what I'm saying? Uh, she's going to be on the show, May 1st. Yeah, so uh, shout out Star. Can't wait to hang in the building. She did say she's going to have some goodies for us. So I definitely can't wait to see what that's going to be. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Always. With that being said, peace to the family. Y'all be good out there.